Still part of the building team, but being on site now, I mean, not enough for about three or four months, but we've been really hit it since Christmas, since January when we started. It's the long days, the 12, 15, 17 hour days from time to get this place finished, but it is all coming together. So the last week we've really hit it hard. The mess is finally in, and we put four holes in in a week, which is a record, I think. This is for the New York scene hole, so there is going to be a giant monster's lizard's hand, um, something from the deep, uh, crushing the car. So we're going to play around the pizza hole, through the bin, and then over into the pet shop, and then pat around the car that we've uh, mangled up and destroyed. The first thing we did was uh, drop the tongue bag of sand on top of the car, wheeled it off a forklift, and um, it was the only way we could get the effect that we needed. We weren't just having fun. The rest of it is just a sledgehammer and good old fashioned jumping on it. It's got to be done properly because it's the only way to create a giant lizard hand is by using a bag of sand. Yeah. I think that's the old saying goes. So.
believe it or not, there is a set format to kind of how the, the gulps are created. We kind of always have a little nod to nostalgia. We have a nod to the host city that we're in. We always have a horror hole. Um, this time I thought we have this big top 10 that we need to utilize from a past event that we did. And again, it's with the reuse, reduce, recycle kind of ethics of the company. We didn't want that big top 10 going to waste. So we thought, let's lash it up on the mezzanine. It'll look amazing from the bar area. And then it was like, well, what to fill with it? And the natural conclusion was terrifying clowns. I love dressing mannequins. And we actually went on a trip to Hollywood and we went to a lot of the stores on Hollywood Boulevard that had all these really realistic masks and you just don't get those in the UK. So we ended up importing a load of these costumes and masks and I just think they're really realistic and terrifying. And I think after the success of the Shining Hole in Glasgow, we had to step it up a notch and I think we've done that. Some of the challenges of this whole production. Um, well, some of the costumes came at the wall. <laughs> So, you know these ones that you get on eBay and it's like 15 pounds and there's no reviews on it and you're like, oh, I'll take a chance and they come. It's a potato with a clown face drawn on it. So some of the costumes were a little bit challenging, but working with set designers and set painters and things like that, scenic painters, we just work together to kind of like tart them up a little bit and make them look a lot better. And there is one clown in particular and it's awful, as in terrifying, and he's called Art the Clown. If I'm not mistaken, and it is just so horrible. 